Hello and welcome to a Communication Network's training video on media converters. I'm Guy Walker, the North America Trainer and a &E Program Manager for Communication Networks. Let's start with defining a media converter. Traditionally, it was considered to be a device to convert from copper media to an optical fiber media and then back to copper, usually to send the data longer distances than the standard copper cabling can handle. But in today's IP-centric world, media converters work on lots of different types of media and ComNet makes one for each. The three that we are talking about today are fiber optic media converters, extended distance media converters, and wireless media converters and all are transmitting an Ethernet signal. Here's a graphical example of each type. Since all of them are transmitting Ethernet, they are all converting from a standard copper Cat5 or 6 cable, which has a limitation of 100 meters or 328 feet. An optical fiber media converter converts to a fiber optic cable and then back. Although an extended distance Ethernet media converter stays on copper cabling, it's converting from a standard Cat5 or 6 to a non-standard copper cable, such as a coaxial cable or an unshielded twisted pair cable, and then back to a standard cable. A wireless Ethernet media converter works the same way as the above types, but it's converting the Ethernet to a radio frequency to be transmitted through the air. Now let's take a closer look at each type. The whole point of this video is to help you in selecting media converters, so let's start with some generalities. Many applications are outdoors and not in climate-controlled environments. Electronics don't like to be cold or wet, so a harsh environment requires a hardened product that can withstand extreme temperatures, condensation, transient voltage, and other environmental factors. A lifetime warranty on all hardened ComNet products means we stand behind our product and replace them if there's ever any trouble. And because there are so many factors to consider when selecting a media converter for a harsh environment, it's important that you select a good partner to help pick an appropriate product. Any of you can use our design center, regional sales managers, or national trainers to get personalized assistance for your application. And your customer gets free 24-7 tech support from our engineers based on the east and west coasts. Fiber optic media converters. The number one benefit with this type is the long distances they can carry an Ethernet signal. Standard copper Cat6 cables only carry the signal 100 meters, but a fiber optic media converter can extend that out over 100 kilometers or more. The second most common reason for using a fiber optic media converter is to isolate the devices in an outside location from lightning or other electromagnetic interference. Optical fiber does not conduct electricity, so any lightning strike or EMI will be isolated to that location and not carry back to the head end. These are even often used for very short runs in lightning-prone regions or industrial locations. So how do you pick the right fiber optic media converter? They come in lots of different flavors, so let's take a look at the options you need to work through. The first question is whether you need a fixed optic version or a unit that uses a small form factor pluggable, or SFP, that slides into the electronic unit and acts as your fiber transmission and receiving piece. Next, figure out what type of fiber will be used. There is multi-mode or single mode. Then figure out whether it will use one or two fibers to make the link. Many systems use two fibers so that you send data one way on the first fiber and then the opposite direction on the second fiber. Also related to the physical cable that will be used is the type of connector on that fiber. There are ST, SC, and LC connectors and here we have it shown as a dual LC connector for that duplex fiber. Ethernet runs at different speeds, so you also have to decide what data speed you want running over that fiber. There is 100 megs per second, 1000 megs per second, also called gigabit, or multi-rate media converters that allow you to slide in either a 100 or 1000 megabit per second SFP for flexibility. You also have to decide on the form factor for the media converter. They come in a mini size, a medium mini size, and a full ComFit card size. The minis are good for fitting in small locations like enclosures or the mounting arms or back boxes of IP cameras. The ComFit cards can be shelf or wall mounted or slid into a 14 slot card cage with no modifications. The last option to consider is whether you need power over ethernet at the remote location for your camera or other IP device. 
ComNet has options for 15 watts, 30 watts, or even 60 watts for the outdoor rated IP PTZ cameras. And of course, all units ship with a power supply. One application note to consider with fiber optic media converters is pairing appropriate units. When using just one fiber between the transmitter and the receiver, you should pair an A unit with a B unit. The model number will tell you which it is. When you are using duplex optical fiber between transmitter and receiver, both units are the same model number. Now let's take a look at extended distance Ethernet media converters. The main reason people use them is a retrofit application where you are moving from an analog camera infrastructure to an IP camera infrastructure. These media converters allow you to use the existing coax cable or UTP cable and now run Ethernet on it instead of the analog signal. And it can represent a huge cost saving versus pulling out the existing cable and running new Category 6 cable. The second most common benefit is being able to send an IP signal much farther distance than the standard 100 meters over CAT6 without having to switch to more expensive optical fiber cabling and optical fiber media converters. Many extended distance Ethernet media converters can transmit an IP signal over 2,000 feet. The third benefit is a huge reason installers choose this type of media converter. Pass-through PoE allows one power source, like a PoE switch, to power all devices on the line. Power is transmitted from the PoE switch, powering both of the media converters and also passing power up to the camera at the end of the line. This makes for a much quicker installation and also means you don't need to worry about finding power at the camera location. Comnet makes versions for up to 15 watts or 30 watts. Please note, that the amount of PoE you need at the end of the line will affect the distances you can successfully travel over any copper cable, so please consult our data sheets for specific limitations. Although ComNet has several product lines that perform this media conversion, our most comprehensive and popular segment is Copper Line. It comes in 15 and 30 watt models, various useful form factors, five different ways to power the modules, and one to 16 channel units. Last in this series of media converters are wireless Ethernet media converters. This is a little different in that we are converting the zeros and ones of Ethernet from an electronic signal to a radio frequency signal and then back again. The number one reason people use wireless is so that they don't have to put in the cabling infrastructure necessary to carry the signal. Trenching for new cabling is very expensive complicated, and difficult to accomplish in many environments. This all represents a huge cost savings by using wireless transmission methods. The second big benefit is the speed of deployment. If you have power on site, the installation of wireless Ethernet media converter can be very quick and effective. Here is a complete view of the newly overhauled product line. We still have three levels of data speed, but the model numbers have changed. We have the low-cost NWK11-M at up to 90 megabits of throughput. In the high-throughput category, we have the new Gen 3 NW1 series, which includes individual radios, kits, and the dual radio unit. For backhaul applications, we have the NWK9 at up to 500 megabits per second. In the accessories category, we have several options for external antenna, solar power kits, and industrial battery backup kits. The NetWave product line is capable of some very complex topologies combining any of the different devices. But by far the most common product and application is the simple point-to-point -point solution. The NetWave NWK11-M and NWK1 kits include everything you need to set up a wireless link. The kits are pre-configured in the factory and Mac locked so that installation on the bench or in the field is simple, quick, and reliable. These pre-configured kits have allowed installers with no previous experience using radio frequency products to successfully implement a wireless Ethernet media converter solution. If there's a K in the NetWave model number, it's a simple to use kit. To summarize this training, there are three main types of media converters, fiber optic, extended distance, and wireless. Since many of these applications are located in harsh environments, it is important that you select a product that can handle extreme temperatures and other environmental factors, and the ComNet lifetime warranty helps put to rest any concerns. Also, since many applications are complex, it can benefit you to tap into all the free resources that ComNet provides for design assistance, 
tech support, and training. Thank you for reviewing our training video and feel free to reach out to any of the ComNet resources for additional information or assistance.